Welcome to the third best decision you've made in your life. The first one, of course, being following me on Twitter. The second one is joining the method. And the last one is uh, joining this seminar, quote unquote. Today, we will discuss time. We will delve a bit into the time aspect of the charts, because as we know, the charts are made of both an x-axis and a y-axis, right? <laughs> In the previous one, we had discussed price. Pretty much um, more than enough for everyone to know about price. We did touch on time a bit, but we're going to go a bit deeper into the time aspect. Now, a few disclaimers to be made. <coughs> Number one. This is not financial advice. We are simply discussing how to read price action, right? Which is how to anticipate candles, how they print before they print. Number two. If you find a single thing useful out of this video, which is going to be uh, about four hours, I'm assuming, maybe less, uh, divided into multiple parts, all right? If you can find one thing useful which you can implement into your trading, then you have succeeded. And the same applies, by the way, to any information you read on Twitter, on Telegram, me, ICT, whoever. Whenever you see someone offering information, you either classify it as useful or useless. It doesn't mean you have to completely understand what he's saying. You can take one little portion of what he's saying and apply it to your trading to become successful. All right? So that's important to note, which is if I say a hundred words and you can only make sense of 10 words and use those 10 words for your benefit, then you have succeeded. Some people might need to watch it twice, three times, four times, like the last one. The last one I had a people, I had a bunch of people telling me that they, uh, telling me that they they didn't get it the first time, but the second time it clicked, right? Or the third time. And on the other hand, I had some people who were telling me that, the, uh, that it clicked straight away. So everyone is going on their own path. Don't compare your path to others, right? Some people are faster and some people are slower. But if you stick around long enough, then you will eventually reach the end of the race. Nice voice crack. Third of all, when you're learning a new concept, then you don't just go and watch it once, you know, open, decline, rally, OTE, rally. You don't just watch it once and start putting your money on it, right? You watch it once, 
you watch it twice, you back test, you forward test, which is 10 times more important. You grow to trust the price pattern to an extremely intimate level, right? In a way which, even if I come afterwards and tell you, you know what, it's going to do this. You're going to say, no, you're wrong. I think it's going to do this because I've seen it this many times and I trust it to do this in this way. And nobody can deter me. That comes with practice and consistency. Don't be the idiot who tries once, fails, and says, fuck this, let me try something else. Tries once, fails, another strategy. Strategy hopping, which is the majority, and the majority are losers, right? <sighs> Further uh, disclaimers. But this time, I'm going to tell you what this is and what this is not. Now, this is a... That's right. Is? Is not. This is... And I know this these parts bore a lot of you. But you got to deal with it. Right? The boring stuff is what matters. And I'll leave some timestamps for, for those who are, who are too lazy and want the strategy straight away. This is a study of price action, right? This is a, a discussion of how charts move. And you can use it for whatever you want. You want to trade with it. You want to simply, uh, it's a hobby for you. You want to whatever, right? Each one of you who's watching is free to do what they want with this information. What this is not, it is not financial advice. It is not enigma. <coughs> it is not the key to... $100 billion, right? Nope. It's simply a study of price and a deeper delving into, not the deepest, but deep enough delving into time and turtle soup, right? Now, Prerequisites. Prerequisites. In order to benefit completely from this material, you have to be at least familiar with. ICT's concepts. Again, I'm not a. Uh, in most of the stuff, ICT has taken a lot of the knowledge which existed beforehand and summarized it into his little smart money concepts, right? Which is why you can say that I use his stuff for most of my trading. So he should be considered your source. And me, I am a supplement. All right? Number two, preferably you have taken the method, which is level one, details with secretary in the pinned messages of the Telegram account which exists at the moment of this recording. And third of all, you must have the will to learn because without these three things, especially number three, 
you will never make it and you will fail. All right. Now, stop recording. Nope. Remove all drawings. Of course, credits to whom credit is due. ICT. Chris Laurie, Larry Williams, W. D. Gam, Elliot, Richard Wyckoff, and whoever else contributed to the accumulation of knowledge of price, which we have today. And before any of you bought, say ICT, ICT this, ICT that, go and read about everyone else, right? And many more, by the way, right? But these are just some major uh, notable people. But before you open your mouth, with parroting nonsense, and this is specifically at a few people, then go study and read the other people which existed in this field, which is trading. After you have delved deep into their content and seen the, and you've measured out the battlefield, you've seen what's going on, you've seen what, what each person offers, then you can open your mouth, not before. Anyway. Now we we delve straight, we delve right into the topic. The importance of time. Why is time important? Importance of time. Why is time important? To demonstrate the importance of time, I like to use the good old example, right? Which is a classic age old example, which is <coughs> um, John bought Bitcoin at the price of 13,000. John suffered an instant 50% loss from his purchase price, right? Ali bought Bitcoin at the price of 13,000 and Ali or Ali in Arabic made an instant gain of 3x. They both bought at the same price. The only difference was the time of the purchase, right? Now, if that went over your head, then, then rewatch it again and realize the importance of that, right? So they, they both bought at the, same t at, the, at the same price level. The only difference was time, the time of purchase. Which is why we say time is more important than price. All 
are you buying at the correct time? Because the price could be right. But are you buying at the correct time? Or no? Now, how do you define the correct time? There's multiple ways, right? You can do it through price or through time. Before we get into it, let's first talk about the divisions of time. The divisions of time. When I say time, then I'm referring to either the open, high, low, and close, the IPDA data ranges, time cycles, and important dates for swing traders, important dates. Right, so to the day, a certain day. For this teaching, we're going to be focusing on the open, high, low, and close aspect of time, right? Which by itself is an extremely complete approach to time, right? The IPTA data ranges. which are not only by ICT, by the way, there's uh, a certain person he took it from, right? Refined it, quote unquote, and uh, claimed it as his own. IPDA data ranges. The algorithm which is being marketed as uh, having been coded, whatever nonsense that is, uh, simply just uh, copy-paste, from X, copy paste from Y, and boom. Call yourself the engineer of the algorithm. Real cool. For these, I may be talk about, talking about these in the future, but uh, the core content has a good, by uh, the inner circle trader, it has a good uh, uh, teaching about them. For now, we are going to be focusing on the open, the high, the low, and the close aspect of time. And these two, you can forget about them for now. Now, what is the open, the high, the low, and the close? O-H-L-C. Or O-L-H-C, right? This is for a bearish candle. The open, the high, low, and close. And the open, low, high, and close is for a bullish candle. Right? 